story time number 13 is going to be on the 2017 uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, in the time I had a client uh, reach out to me the next day, let me know the car was stolen or was taken. Drowning in my fears just like an ocean. Negativity is getting closer. How to keep the heat when it gets colder, you know. Sometimes everything is. What is up, Innovation Family? How's everybody doing today? It's me, Brandon, your friend, your neighbor, your host. Back with another video with Innovation Property Atlanta. Um, before we jump into today's story time, I think we're on story time number 13. Uh, remember guys, to always like the video, subscribe to my channel, refer a friend to the channel, and then we'll go from there. So I apologize to you guys over the last couple weeks. It's been a pretty um, crazy couple weeks for me. I've been sick along with the Thanksgiving holidays, but I want to jump back into story times and share my experience. So just real quick, today's story time number 13 is going to be on a 2017 uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, in the time I had a client uh, reach out to me the next day and let me know the car was stolen or was taken per se. So uh, this happened about a year and some change ago where a young lady, and again I'm telling you the story because you just never know, and everything goes when it comes to renting out your car on, on platforms and <clears throat> even people who seem like they're trustworthy or have even high ratings on the platform may also do shady business. So this young lady was here from out of town. Uh, she ran the Jeep Cherokee. Um, Five-star client from other people um, as far as a platform. I never ran into her before, but she came out, had good reviews. I think ran it like six, seven times on Turo. Didn't see no negative marks. So of course, as any other company or any other business would do, you approve and say, go ahead and you know confirm the reservation. She came, put the vehicle up, you know, did all the Turo process stuff, make sure everything checked out, no problems. So, um, the, the next day, or maybe she had a car, it was, maybe it was a two-day reservation, but I think the next day she had reached out to me, like around one or two o'clock. I was actually at Target with my wife, and she had reached out to me and said, hey, Brandon, just to let you know, there was something that happened last night, and the car was, was taken or stolen or, or took, it was somebody took the vehicle. So I asked her, I said, you know, why didn't you just reach out to me last night when it was, was stolen? You know, you get a police report, you make sure um, that you document everything. Do you know the person was who stole the vehicle? So apparently the vehicle was, uh, she parked someplace in Buckhead and Valet. And when she came back out, and again, this is all allegedly air quotes, I don't know. She came back out, uh, the car was gone. Um, so this, this is her story. So I reached out to her. I mean, she reached out to me the next day and I said, you get a police report. Never got police support. So that's how you know, you know, when they don't give a police report, it's always an inside job or it's more than not telling you about. So I said, okay, cool. I never panic when cars get stolen or don't come back. So I went ahead, looked at the tracker and seen where the car was located. And I went ahead um, the next day after, matter of fact, went ahead and got a police report with that jurisdiction where the car was located as far as in that area, which was, just, you know, not the best part of town to begin with. So shout out to that jurisdiction for helping me out um, getting the vehicle back. They did an awesome job um, when it came to helping me out and all that. So the track was still was working. Um, what I do always before I, I get the police involved or I get people involved to help me get the car back, I make sure I do, um, I locate the vehicle myself. So I'll do tracking on the vehicle and then I put my own boots on the ground, meaning myself or whoever I know is in the area to make sure to confirm the car is there, what type of neighborhood it is, so to make sure that I know what I'm getting into. In this case, it was in a shady apartment complex. Cool, but the, the good thing was the police station was just down the street. Went ahead, filed a police report. Police station down there, A plus, they did a very good job. Cause most of the time, the police in Atlanta give me a hard time when it comes to getting my cars back. Cause you, you gotta you file at the right uh, precinct, the right location, the right zone, all those things. Cause it all depends on where the car is parked at. It all depends on everything when it comes to jurisdiction. In this, in this case, they let me, you know, cause it was parked in the apartment complex down from the police station. Went ahead with file with them. <coughs> Excuse me, I went ahead and told them where the car was located. I had an extra key for the car. So that's again, as always, make sure you got extra keys for your cars for the, in these situations. You just never know when you gotta get your cars back yourself. Had an extra key for the car, so I was prepared. So the lady said, sir, we have located your vehicle, which I already knew because I, I knew where it was. Tell them where it was at. They went ahead and blocked it off. And I got my vehicle back. 
So the car has stuff. It wasn't. It wasn't any bad shape. No accident. It's just dirty. It left some junk in the car, a laptop, and some other stuff, which is pretty common when it comes to people not returning your vehicle. So the lady asked me, or well, police police officer asked me, that I want to file charges against my client, criminal charges, because you know she's involved. In this case, I'm like, nah, because um, you know it's just it takes a lot of time and energy, and it's not much reward when it comes to criminal charges when you file for police, uh, for vehicles or stolen items because reality is a lot of times the clients don't have money so it's going to take a lot of time and energy out of your time out of your day or what you got going on to file these charges now if I didn't get the car back that'd be different but I got the vehicle back it was in good decent shape no harm no foul um, you know it took time out my day to get it back but I got the asset back got it clean up on Turo the next you know the next day so um, but yeah part of the game guys so again Police report, make sure you guys get the police involved. Hopefully it's a good police station in your area. Backup keys, you gotta have boots on the ground knowing where your cars are at and have the right proper tracking devices in your vehicles, guys. So this is part of the Turo game, guys. Again, part of good, bad, and ugly. But that's story time number 13. Hope you guys have a good day. On fire to fuego, we pass it round hot potato. Everything is new wavo. I'm with my sweetie like Quavo. Need my cheese, need that queso. Need my bread, need that bankroll. Wake up, yes, Lord, I'm thankful. Another day on my schedule. Steady blocking the devil. I tell a hater, God bless you. Cherish moments that special. You gotta keep the momento. If you love me, then I love you. And I could never forget you. Some memories don't fade. Sometimes you miss the old days. But nothing changed. Let's you change what's around you how you think how you